Doc Rich back at it again, and we not getting surgical today, but <clears throat> we got another scary vid, and, and literally, um, not too long ago, a little bit earlier, I was recording an M video, M reaction video, and I was literally saying in that video, hey, we, we, we need to get back into some scary vids, and lo and behold, chills blesses us with another one. Shout out to Chills, man. Go and show, go and show him some love. Let him know we appreciate him. You know what I mean? Well, we got five scary videos that went very wrong. This is what we're gonna be checking out today. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. Exploring abandoned places has gone wrong plenty of times. Is the scary top five video show number five? Tattoo Tony Alton goes exploring a hospital in East St. Louis, Illinois that's beyond creepy. The hospital was abandoned sometime in the late 90s and has been standing undisturbed ever since. At 27 minutes and 21 seconds, they discover a door where the ground is damp and covered in sludge. The mysterious substance grows thicker on the other side and you can hear Tony's protective boots slushing around in at least an inch of slimy muck. Only when he reaches the end of the hallway does he realize he's been exploring the hospital's morgue, which has been unrefrigerated for years. I don't want to know what was on that floor, but that's about as wrong as I've ever seen in urban exploration gone. Number 4 Bro! What? Nah, there's no fucking way. A body wouldn't liquefy like that. It would just... It would dry out. Why would it be wet? Embalming fluid? What, like, what, what's, what, what, are, what are some of the properties of embalming fluid? Like, obviously, we know it, it pr helps to preserve a body, but does it not dehydrate which i guess would make sense because you want to keep the body if anybody know has some information on embalming fluid let me know like was was that possibly embalming fluid that couldn't have been right it's been abandoned for way too long that was probably water coming from the from a leaking ceiling or something right let me know in the comment section below a YouTuber named Nerdy Weasel goes exploring an abandoned house in his neighborhood with a ghost meter to see if it's really as haunted as people say. His first piece of paranormal evidence occurs while entering the old building when the ghost meter goes off by itself. Here, close her. As he and his friend look around, a paranormal feeling fills them both with a fearful uncertainty, followed by this scary moment. Bro, I don't feel safe right now, bro. Fish everywhere. Yo. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. He thinks he's caught a ghost on camera, and even though his camera fails to capture it, I still believe this video because the ghost meter beeps as soon as he starts talking about seeing a creepy figure. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. And also at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, if you look closely, a ghost orb floats by the doorway where he says the figure is. They get really freaked out and climb back through the window when the ghost makes an object fall from somewhere inside of the haunted house. They run back to the sidewalk and they laugh at the paranormal encounter through a fence, making the mistake of thinking they're safe. We're here at the... Your boy nerd, you <laughs> We're here at the... Plantation Club Draft House. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, the ghost meter is pounded with paranormal energy and goes off like never before. It's not electronic interference either because the paranormal equipment had been relatively quiet until this scary moment. They try and dodge the ghost by walking fast down the block, but there's no outrunning the paranormal. Finally, it seems to leave them alone until about a block later when Nerdy Weasel feels a mysterious presence wash over them once more. Oh, someone walking behind us. Chill. Yeah. 
First he says he feels watched by an apparition and then the ghost meter goes off. If it was the other way around I'd be skeptical, but this sequence of events seems like they've really offended a spirit that is going to follow them for a long time. It looks like exploring this abandoned house has gone wrong for them in the worst possible way. Oh, it's no, been fam. one ah, that 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 will I, I just feel like that was just too too uh, unrealistic, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know. There was just too much going on. There was just too much to that one, you know? Like I just feel like it was dramatized. I don't know. Number 3. Now let me know. It's midnight when a YouTuber named Porter decides to go exploring some abandoned places near his house in hopes of capturing something scary on video. He and his friends have gone exploring these places in the past, and nothing's wrong before, but exploring abandoned places can always go wrong at a moment's notice, as he and his crew are about to discover. This urban exploration video is never meant to be a paranormal investigation, but soon they come across a tunnel that looks like it could be haunted, as they are exploring. Bro, there's no fucking way. I'm going into a tunnel in the middle of the woods. There could be a bear down there. You know, there, there, there could be any type of creature or beast down in that tunnel. Now, you, you, you go in a tunnel and you corner a bear. You, you're fucked, you know? There's nowhere for you to run. You're not out running the thing, you know what I mean? So, like, nah, son, what? Nah, uh-uh. Exploring the tunnel, they come across a barrel that's been eaten away by corrosive chemicals. Large holes mark where a mysterious substance leaked out, and the old yellow caution tape they've caught on camera is a frightening moment to say the least. They should probably get out of there fast because, aside from being creepy and maybe haunted, the tunnel air is almost certainly not safe to breathe, at least not with this barrel around. They instead keep exploring until a cave-in doesn't allow them to go any further. They finally leave because the section they're in could collapse too, each of them passing by the mysterious barrel one more time on the way out. They wander through the scary woods for a while and eventually come across another eerie passageway that Porter decides not to explore because they're still creeped out about being too close to a possibly radioactive barrel or whatever that was. They should have gone back by now, but they've come all the way here to go exploring an abandoned building and apparently not enough has gone wrong to make them stop. We're going to check out the other building for a little bit, that's it. They approach the building, but something else grabs their attention. A mysterious hole in the ground. No, we've already seen that, like during the day. No, it's... Oh no, I did not see that. <coughs> As they peer inside, all they find is more yellow caution tape and a putrid stench that makes them feel nauseous. They aren't sure what this place is, but it's clear to me that this opening was once covered by a manhole. The well, safe to say they might have come across a dead body. If he's gagging like that, <clears throat> I ain't never smelled a dead body myself, but like I said before, people have said it, uh, it's one of the, the worst smells you could ever smell in your entire life, so... If any of y'all have ever smelled a, a, a dead body, and you know, you can comment in the comment section, you know, what, what your, your experience, but I, I would assume it was a dead body. I mean, you could hear the dude gagging, you know, um, you know, like we're, I think, I think we're all kind of used to, I won't say used to, but we've all smelled like dead roadkill, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it stinks, but. It's not necessarily going to make you gag really hard, you know? Like, it's funky, you know what I mean? Like, you ever come across a, a, a dead skunk? Yeah, that, that shit smells horrible, you know? Or, or, or a dead whatever, you know, some whatever varmint, you know? Um, it, it stinks. But it's not going to really make you... <laughs> you know, you, you're going to be like, bro, that shit's funky. You might pull one of these, but y'all let me know in the comment section. This is an abandoned... Actually, I guess it could be like, you know, uh, like a deer or something that broke its leg and fell into the hole. But I don't know. I don't see any bones right there. 
sewer pipe that's filled with toxic fumes from bacteria and industrial waste. They aren't feeling too good, but the building is right there, so they decide to take a quick peek. It's beyond creepy inside, and they are inching towards the back when this happens. Let's go. A scary voice whispers at them in the darkness and the urban exploration comes to an end. Later, they try not to get caught making a video at the hospital. You can tell it's real because there's hospital equipment beeping and nurses talking in the background. We had to um, come to the ER for Braden. Um, actually got in the car and recorded for a little bit. On the way home, um, he started to get a lot of pain like near his heart. So. His friend is okay, but they aren't sure if it was from breathing chemicals or a ghost. And this video has gone about as wrong as it gets. <coughs> Number 2. A ghost hunting channel called American Phantom Hunters have been exploring haunted places for decades. And this paranormal investigation is one of their creepiest videos yet. The Palmer House in Minnesota is a haunted hotel that was rebuilt after a terrifying fire took many lives. Some people never checked out and still roam the hallways as a ghost. Mysterious sightings of paranormal activity are said to terrify any ghost hunters who dare to investigate the haunted hotel. <laughs> They're always a haunted hotel, huh? Interessante. Hold on, let me. Bam. There always seems to be a ghost slamming doors and moving objects, whispering voices in dark hallways, and even a little ghost girl who bounces a ball down the stairs late at night. American Phantom Hunters begin their paranormal investigation by carefully setting up ghost hunting equipment at one of the most haunted places in the whole hotel, the stairs where a little ghost girl likes to push a ball down late at night. Within minutes, their carefully calibrated paranormal equipment is detecting electromagnetic activity from a nearby ghost, perhaps the little girl herself. Can you come back up? 296. Ooh. I got it on film. Can you come to these steps? Can you stand on these stairs? Two pieces of paranormal equipment independently verify the presence of a ghost. The large blue screen displays a black bar that represents movement, in this case a ghost girl running up the steps. Their paranormal investigation yields results as their questions are answered quickly and in time. Can you touch that device again? 40, 30. Something just went by on that meter too. Jeez. And this digital thermometer detects a drop of 3 degrees from 75 degrees to 72 degrees, paranormal evidence of a chilling effect as a ghost passes by. At this point, the supernatural energy is so prevalent that one of the ghost hunters has their phone mess up and display the wrong year entirely. She is unable to access any of the paranormal evidence on her phone while standing at these stairs. They set up a spirit box to capture any scary ghost EVPs on tape, and that's when the strange knocking noises begin. Can you touch that yellow device on the stairs for me real quick? Thank you. Hello? Accompanied by the scary whispering voices of a little ghost girl. At times, the EVP sounds like they are coming from the spirit box, but at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, the scary voice whispers may be right into the camera from behind. Hey. Can you come down the stairs? They try to talk to the little ghost girl some more and manage to capture these spooky EVPs on tape. How are you? Do you care if I go upstairs? Wait. Okay. After gathering enough evidence, they decide to leave the haunted hotel, and so they say their paranormal goodbyes, but as they are leaving, they hear a voice whisper something scary in the darkness. They hear the word castle, but I hear cast down. What do you think this scary voice is whispering? Either way, the fact that they hear the EVP outside of the house is a terrifying sign because it means something could have attached itself to them. 
so something tells me they aren't exactly safe. I've got a challenge for you. Oh, that, 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 that one right there. Um, quite interesting. You know, quite interesting to say the least. I just, um, hmm. There were quick responses. Um, I would love to take a look at their equipment to make sure that it's not like rigged and they're pressing like a button or something. You know what I mean? Like, like off camera remote and, and making it go off, you know, or things like that. Um, I kind of, uh, I kind of, I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. Um, but I still would have my, 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 my questions, you know. Um, but you guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. <clears throat> Since you've made it this far, <clears throat> why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin Bro, he be killing me when he posts that picture. <laughs> what he says, are you curious what I actually look like? Shout out to YT and tap that follow button to find out number one two Damn tank blowing some shit up All right young call of duty <laughs> Two friends are making a jogging video when they come across the bright figure of a scary unknown individual on a bridge who refuses to let them pass it's 7.30 in the morning, and there's absolutely no reason for a clown to be creeping around this trail in the woods, let alone hanging out on a narrow bridge. They call out to him to see what he's doing, and the clown simply marches towards them without saying a word. At 45 seconds, they think they can see an object clutched in his hand, and so they go running the opposite direction. I don't see anything in his hand, but the clown does seem to be making a fist, so maybe he is holding something after all. Either way, I think they definitely made the right decision by taking off. Dude, what the so hey, for those of you that haven't listened to my rap song, go and check it out. It's up on the channel. But I said this for a reason. Keep that hammer close. You never know what you might need to nail. You keep that thing on you? That clown just would have been a dead clown right there on that bridge. Don't, don't, no, don't play with me. You getting blasted. You getting blasted. I'm, I'm going to give you your fair warning. Hey, yo, I'm passing through. I don't know what the fuck you here to do. But leave me the hell alone, all right? Keep it pushing. Give you your fair warning. Hey, I will shoot. You keep playing with me, I'm blasting you. I'm sorry. You just gonna be a dead clown. Like I don't I don't I don't get why people are so are so stupid. Like you don't you don't know who has what on them. Yeah, I mean some some of these clown videos, okay, they kinda funny, but like, bro, do you not realize people people got guns and bullets and <laughs> knives and dogs and all types of other shit like bro and some of these motherfuckers because there was like an mma fighter that like got his house broken into and he beat the shit out of the dude you know what i mean like bro like i don't know y'all let me know what y'all what y'all think about the, the the and it fuck and it's about to be halloween so this shit about to pick up again that shit just occurred to me oh man There's no use sticking around to see what this scary person wanted to do to them. This top 13 list of bizarre videos. Yeah, son. And you chasing after me? Nope. Nope. Not happening. You getting blasted. Simple and plain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you're going to do to me if you happen to catch me, if I trip and fall. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Mm -mm. But y'all let me know what y'all would do in that situation or circumstance. <clears throat> um, if, 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 if you had a weapon on you, would you still run? 
Y'all talk to me in the comment section. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think maybe maybe I would try to run at least. You know what I'm saying? To get to get a person a chance. But bro, if you you I mean you, you start getting a little too close, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to just you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? But, hey, five scary videos that went very wrong. Another one. Still not completely convinced yet. Still not completely convinced yet. But um, I definitely feel like we, we, we are getting some, some good ones here, here and there um, that, that are decently convincing. Um, hopefully, hopefully, eventually, once again, we're, we're going to get that. That one that is just going to really freak me the hell out. And I'm going to be convinced. But until then, y'all stay tuned. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Y'all know what to do. Doc Rich, I'm out.